On April 13, 2020, chest pains forced Kenneth Bennett to pull to the side of the road. Bennett, a sergeant at Metro Corrections, had just clocked out for the day and was having a heart attack. Some of the same guys that work here came on a rescue that day. There's a particular officer here that my cardiologist told me that if she wouldn't have done what she did, I would have died. During his 21 years in corrections, he saw people after they committed suicide and overdosed, and his stress and anxiety was off the charts. A few months after his heart attack, plagued by PTSD, he decided to retire. But the father of four refused to saddle his family with one more bill, so he skipped out on counseling. The jail's director, Jerry Collins, is changing that. I wish we'd have had that for the last 30 years. He's not only made counseling available to staff two times a week at the jail and during their shifts, he's now expanding those appointments to include retirees. Because it was never available, we've had folks that's done 25, 30 years, and then it's cut off. And then all that trauma hits because it's never been dealt with. Up until about 18 months ago, prior to this administration, anyone wanting help would have had to walk out these doors. There was also an issue of a copay, and with that copay, a limited number of visits. The stories of navigating through that, it just became too much, you know, for folks, and they would just not do it. Which is why Collins and the staff at Metro Corrections want to make it easier to ask for help. Help Kenneth Bennett says he is ready for. I need it. I deserve it. <laughs> I deserve it. And my kids deserve it. My wife deserves it. Lauren Adams, WLKY News. Thank you, Lauren.